Now let's see different versions available in Power BI or licensing available in Power BI. So there are different versions. Okay. So we have a free account and paid account as well. So Power BI desktop is a free account. Okay. So we you, do, you don't have to pay anything for a Power BI desktop. It is a free application. While Power BI service is a paid Okay, it is a license. You have to pay here to get the service. So there are different features available in Power BI. Now let's see the difference between them. Now first is connecting to multiple data sources. So even if you are using Power BI desktop or service, you can connect to multiple data sources. Now data transformation using Power Query Editor means data cleaning is available in Power BI desktop but not available in Power BI service. But nowadays, there is a one product which is called as a data flow, which is available in Power BI service by which you can do data transformation. Third is data modeling, which is available in Power BI desktop, but it is not available in Power BI service. Data modeling means when you are connecting different tables or you create a relationship between the tables that is called as data modeling. Fourth is creating calculated columns and major. So using DAX, we can create a calculated column and majors so that we can create in a desktop, but we can't create it in a Power BI service. Fourth is creating visuals and reports. So we can create a reports here in a Power BI desktop. Even in a Power BI service as well, we can create a report. Now creating and sharing the dashboard. So we can't create a dashboard here in Power BI desktop. We only create a reports here. Once we create a report, we publish, in, publish it in, in a Power BI service and in Power BI service, then we create a dashboard and then we can share the dashboard with others. So Power BI desktop, in by using the Power BI desktop, you can't share the reports. You just create a report and once you create it, you have to publish in Power BI service, but that is a paid license. So if you want to share your reports to many people, then you need a license. Okay, you have to pay it. So we are creating the dashboard in Power BI service and we can sh we are sharing the dashboard in a Power BI service, which is not available in a Power BI desktop. First is creating uh, last uh, last but one is creating and managing a workspace app. So we are creating a report here and publishing Power BI service in Power BI service. We are using a workspace, okay, which is available in Power BI service only sharing the reports. We can't share the reports by using the desktop, but we can share the reports by using a Power BI service. Now in Power BI service also, we are having a different products available depending upon the different features. Now, if you can see here, here again, we can see Power BI free, which is a desktop, then Power BI Pro, which is a paid one and Power BI Premium, which is also paid version. So in Power BI Premium also, we have a two different type premium per user and premium capacity. Okay, so this premium capacity used for a big organizations and premium per user are used for a single user. Suppose someone is a Power BI consultant which is a single user but he wants to use a premium feature that time he can use a Power BI premium per user but suppose there is a large organization where many people are there and they are using the premium features then we have to go for Power BI premium capacity. There are difference between many things or features in a different versions. So let's see now here for the storage here in the Power BI free version, the storage capacity is very less, which is 1 GB. In Power BI Pro, which is a paid version, we have a 10 GB per user. And here in the premium, 100 terabyte. And here in the premium capacity also 100 terabyte. Now we can create a reports in all these versions. Okay, here the gateway is available in only the Pro and premium versions. Gateway means these are the breach between the on-premises and on-premises data and a cloud service. So we require this gateway okay, for connecting the on-premises data to the service. That's why it is available in the pro version and the premium version. 
then there is a low level security which is not available in a free version low level security means sometimes we need to restrict our data to certain users so if you want to make make to restrict the data then we can use this low level security but it is available in only pro and premium now next is shared workspace workspace is available in pro and premium not in a free version and fabric is available only in a power bi premium capacity not in other versions now let's see the memory size limit so for a pro version we have a 1 gb memory size limit whereas for the premium per user we have a 100 gb and for the premium capacity we have a 400 gb okay and the refresh frequency okay when we are uploading a new data we we have to refresh the data right so the re refresh frequency here in the free version it is not there okay and in the paid versions in the pro version we have a eight refresh per day and where is premium per user we have a 48 refreshes per day and even in the capacity we are having 48 refresh per day and the price are here power bi free which is a desktop version which is a free application you don't have to pay anything where is for the pro we have to pay 10 dollar per user per month where for a premium per user it is 20 dollar per user per month and for the premium capacity it's little higher which is 4995 dollar per month which is starting from 4995 per month okay it can be varied so these are the different versions which are the free and paid versions available in a power bi